where it says all bodies as they get well spiral upwardly. All bodies that get ill auger downwardly. When you auger downwardly, your body swells. It turns into tumors and cysts and ankylosis and spurs and every imaginable sickness and corns and bunions. These are all result of augering downwards. The body is making timbers and pulse and anything to hold you up. You got that? You can't get any swelling or any spur or any tumor or anything unless your body's disappearing. The body adds these things to hold you up. Okay? You got that? All right, now, we check people's ears and eyes. Right ear is happy, left ear is happy, right eye is happy, left eye is happy. Now, you have to go to the nostrils to check for oxygen. And you have three things you check for oxygen. You check right body oxygen with right nostril. You check left body oxygen with left nostril. And you check brain oxygen with the tip of your nose. So watch this. Right nostril, left nostril, tip of the nose. He dropped. No, your notes will tell you that if the arm drops on right nostril, you have to use progesterone cream to win back your hormones in your body. If it drops on left nostril, you need progesterone cream for your thyroid gland. Left nostril is thyroid, right nostril is adrenal. There are people that only breathe out of one nostril. Now, when both nostrils are down the tube, because thyroid and adrenals aren't working, the tip of your nose, the arm will drop. That means your brain is not getting enough oxygen. And 25% of all the oxygen and all the blood that circulates in your body has to go to your brain first. That's why your brain can't be without oxygen more than a few seconds. So remember this. Whenever the arm drops and right nostril, you rub progesterone cream to the right and left of your belly button because this is where your adrenals live, right here. That's right nostril. When it drops only on left nostril, you just rub it on your Adam's apple here, your voice box where your thyroid lives. And you need it there. Okay? If it drops on the tip of the nose, you need it in both places, adrenal and thyroid. And that's in your notes. Okay? All right. Now, we check your nostrils. Then you check teeth. And if you want to check teeth, you take your hands like this, upper teeth, lower teeth. If the arm drops, you check the teeth. And a lot of teeth get injured. They get injured with dental work. They get injured because of bad teeth or bad gums or bad jaws. We have this light here that if you aim it on a damaged tooth, you get it back to normal. If you have one damaged tooth in your mouth, it will shut down your system. Now, I want to show you something. These are your incisor teeth. We call these your lower right and left incisors. You have two center incisors and two lateral incisors. The lateral incisors feed your ovaries and your testicles. When one incisor goes down the tube because of injury, it totally shuts the ovaries down or the testicles down. Okay? It makes a eunuch out of you. Did you hear what I said? It makes a eunuch out of you. You don't know that you're a man or a woman because it shuts your hormones down. See? So you, you got to fix that tooth. And you don't have to have a tooth decayed, just the root system is injured. Or they've had a root canal that didn't turn out. It's very important that you own one of these lights. Get them from dawn if you wish. We do miracles with this every day. So your incisors are holders of anger. They're holders of emotion. It's the most common teeth that go down the tube in the body. Now, your incisors feed your hearing. Your middle incisors feed your eyesight. That's why they call these your eye teeth. Because your middle incisors feed your eyes. You can lose your eyesight when these teeth get injured. Now, your canine teeth are your third set of teeth here. You have middle incisors, lateral incisors, and canine. Canines are hooked up to the endocrine system. If you have injured canine teeth, you lose your hormones. And then you got your premolar and your molar and your wisdom. Your wisdom teeth are hooked to your brain, and your molars are hooked to your heart, and your premolars are hooked to your immune system. And any one of these teeth can shut a system down in your body. Your upper jaw represents your brain. Your lower jaw represents your heart. And a lot of people don't know this. A lot of dentists don't know this. So if you have a bad tooth on the top, it affects your brain's ability to talk to your heart. Or vice versa. If you have a bad tooth on the bottom jaw, it affects your heart's ability to communicate with your brain. All right? Now, here's Azora. Look at here. Way out here. Now, if you want to know where he was when he walked in, 
Turn your head around. This is where he was. Nothing within inches of flowers. See? Now he's already here. See? Now you're going to outlive your fifth wife now. <laughs> yes. So, now, we're going to test her hypothalamus to get a wellness test on her. How well is she? How deficient is she? She's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that means she's 80% healthy, but 20% deficient. And sometimes that 20% on some people feels 80%. Yeah. They just don't feel good on that. You could have a toothache or a backache or a swollen disc or something. All right, so we locked that in. Now when we lock that in, you tip your head to the left. Father's side. Now the mother's side. Now you. And it drops. Now, you raise your head back to neutral, and you say, brain, are you happy? Thyroid, are you happy? Now, here's the lady that needs thyroid. Now, you go positive, negative, positive. Now, if you are on the positive side, that means your thyroid is overactive. If people have overactive thyroids, they have irregular hearts. They feel their heart skipping in their chest. They're nervous people. They have people with anxiety. You want to slow down that thyroid that slows down the heart that's just jumping in your chest. Got that? Yep. So all people that have high thyroids are all over the place. They're nervous, they're anxiety, they're depressed. Oh God, see? Now, matrix energy. One, two, three. That's the average dosage. Now, sorosaur is an oil that you can rub on your throat. That's a liquid mineral that you can help take swelling out. Let's say you had a nodule in your throat or you had a goiter in your throat. You'd want to rub that on or to downsize the nodule or the goiter or the swelling or the fever or the inflammation or the pain in your throat. Or let's say you were a singer and you just lost your voice. Sort of, sort of will help cool that throat down, you see? All right, so three of those. Now we lock that in. You stay on that. Now, office call number two. You now are at a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've improved her from an eight to a nine. Now she's 10% deficient. <clears throat> so we locked that nine in. And you tip your head to the left, tip your head to the right, tip your head forward, and it's still in the center. You have five reflexes. And so you say, brain, are you happy? Thyroid, are you happy? Heart, are you happy? Stomach, are you happy? Now, you erase it and you go positive, negative, positive. Because she's a positive, the body says, please give me cleanse to help my ecosystem to become healthy. Now, your ecosystem, people, is 36 foot long. It's a hollow organ from the mouth to the rectum, and even more, because it includes the urinary tract, which is kidneys and bladder and urethra. So you have miles of tubing and blood vessels and nerves there. And your body says, please give me cleanse. How many a day? One, two a day. That's one less than normal. And you stay on that all the time until you get skinny as a rail, and your body gets healthy and happy, because it's going to pull this stuff out. But if you want to know exactly how long, you say years, months, weeks. You race weeks, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. At the end of six weeks, you'd be smart if you took one a day. Got that? Okay. Now you lock that in, and you go back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you get a person to a ten, you're basically done, but the only thing that you should do then is give them circotonic. Once you get to a ten, all bodies want to be fine-tuned and balanced with circotonic. So once you get to a ten, and you've locked this in, you say, how many circuitonic, one, two, three a day, and that'll top off all the needs of your body for fine-tuning to stay healthy. Okay. And that's what you need. Okay. Now, you notice she didn't have any nutrition that was above normal, but I still checked the feet. Shoes, shoes, instep, instep, heel, heel. Now, she was born with normal heels, normal insteps, see? And that's good. And you got a pretty decent posture here, see? First day of born heels. Yeah, and she's got good heels. See, she's got cowboy boots on. See? Good heels, see? Now, if she wore flat shoes, we, we would notice it right away. Now, let me check your skin because I think you can prove your skin. Positive, negative. So she needs the Allure Cream. And you race it how many times a day? One, two, three times a day. So morning, afternoon, bedtime. Okay. Four years, months, weeks, one to three weeks. Now you're down to twice a day. Okay? Keep it going. Now, your oxygen, right nostril, left nostril, central. You don't need progesterone cream. Right ear, left ear, right eye, left eye, upper teeth, lower teeth. See? Now, we have a reflex here in your throat here called the episternal notch. This hole in your throat here. This checks whether the house that you're working in or the business that you're working in is a healthy place to be. 
Watch what happens here. I want you to think of the home that you live in. Okay, positive, negative, positive, negative. So she's got a healthy home that she lives in. Think of the place that you work every day. Positive, negative, positive, negative, and that's healthy. Now when it drops, then you'll find that the house or business that you live in is not very healthy. Now we have nutrition for that to help you lubricate your body against all the leakage of wires and gases that you have in your house. But in my house, in Dawn's house, in my son's house, we have what we call a Ghostbuster box. This is called a Ghostbuster box. This is an invention that is so amazing that you just hook this up close to your refrigerator in your house and it governs the amount of electricity that comes to your house, never allows excess electricity to come out of your computer, your television set, your radios or lamps or anything, keeps you from being poisoned. Diabetics are allergic to electricity. A lot of people are allergic to electricity, I am. I don't do well with electricity. So when you are allergic to electricity, you are vulnerable to leukemia. You're vulnerable to having white blood cell counts that are high. You're vulnerable to diabetes. You're vulnerable to eczemas and bladder trouble especially. You're vulnerable to lumbago and back problems, you see? And so it's very important that if you find a patient that has those problems, you can never get them well unless you put a Ghostbuster box in your house. So you have an article that I wrote years ago on ghost energy. We have a college in Florida that uses the funds of the Ghostbuster box to help poor kids get a college education. And so inside of your paper is the phone number that you can call to get that. We don't sell those. Um, Ralph, come on up here a minute. Ralph is a clergy. He's a clergy of a pretty good sized church in California. He comes in here to film our seminars because his church and his people have gotten dramatic results with CRA. And, and Ralph comes down here and spends his time and spends his money to film these seminars to help us get information for you people. Give him a hand. He donates his time to do this. Uh, tell these people what you found out about the Ghostbuster box. Okay, I, uh, I buy them a dozen at a time. And um, we have testimony after testimony after testimony because what I do with them, I just back them up to a, uh, an electric plug, actually about 15 feet away. And if they drop, I tell them you have to have it, and they put it in their home. Their health changes, the amount of supplements they need changes, their sleep changes, their attitude changes, everything. It's, it's a great And job. it saves electricity. Yeah. I'm trying to sell them for $1,000, and they don't want to pay that much. So <laughs> no. They're, they're, they're worth it. But my electric bill in my house in October was $384. I put it in there, and my, my electric bill the following month was $270. It went down $114. Yeah. Now, they're made to save you money on electricity, but they save you money on health yeah, and pills right. and potions. Because there are people that just seem to need a lot of nutrition, like circle tonic. If a person needs more than three a day and they got healthy feet, you better start looking for somebody who needs this box in their house. Yeah. And it cuts down the anemia. Yeah. They, these people are getting sick. All people that are them. anemic are usually anemic because the electricity is poisoning their blood and they get anemic. So thank you, Ralph, for that. Okay? You bet. Sorry. Here's the guy that came in from London. Hold your arm up. Now, he's really a fighter, so you gotta bring that arm down. Now, this, this to me is comfort zone, right here, okay? Now, resist me a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now, he's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is amazing, isn't it? You wanna give these people a testimony of how you felt a couple years ago before you learned of Siri and finally learned of Siri, what happened to you? Actually, it was uh, 14 months ago. I had three months of nosebleeds. Had my nose cauterized five times. They said I needed surgery. All of a sudden, other issues going on. And on May the 2nd, I met him for the first time in Seattle. He uh, actually gave me some present moment and a few other things, and my nose stopped bleeding like that. And so it saved me from surgery and a lot of discomfort. Yeah. Thank you. Now this guy is a CEO in London, works for a multi-billion dollar company, and, and, and travels the world and can't afford to have a bloody nose, you know, see? So he just comes down here just to, just, just to be with you people to let you know that we did good things for him, you see? Nice guy. All right, so here we go. Now, you're a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so he's 90% healthy, 10% deficient. So where is this problem? So tip your head to the left, tip your head to the right, tip your head forward, and boom, it drops. Now, put your head in a neutral position, raise the arm, and say, brain, are you happy? Thyroid, are you happy? Heart, are you happy? Now I raise it and I go positive, negative, positive, negative. Now here's a negative. 
So you have a choice of circotonic, you have a choice of regenerative